Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another very interesting SQL problem. The problem name is marketing campaign success. What I am going to do, I am going to explain you the problem. It has multiple steps, okay. And then what you can do, you go try yourself first, okay. I will put the create table and insert table statement in description box. Take it, create table, insert data and try it yourself. And then I am going to solve this question today in a step by step manner. Okay, I will use multiple cities and try to show you how cities can be useful. Okay, so let me try to explain the problem. So we have this table marketing campaign table and the, the problem is that you have a table of in-app purchase by user. So you have a table which, ha which has all the purchase information for all the users. So for example, user ID 10, he has bought three products right on different dates. This is on 1st, 2nd, 31st. This is product ID and this is quantity and price. Okay. The main column is these three columns. Quantity and price we won't be using at all. Okay. Now users that make their first in-app purchase are placed in a marketing campaign. So whenever user, any user purchased for the first time in the app, they are putting in a marketing campaign where they see call to actions for more in-app purchase. So basically, if you see user ID, this one, 10. He purchased something on 1st of January. So what will happen on the next day, there will be a campaign for this user that you can buy these products also, right? So the question is find the number of users that made additional in-app in purchases due to the success of marketing campaign, right? So we have to find users who made some purchase after the first day purchase, right? Now there are some terms and conditions, right? That is very important. So this is the terms and condition. The first is the marketing campaign doesn't start until one day after the initial in-app in purchase. So users that only made one or multiple purchase on the first day do not count, right? So if a user is buying two products on the first day, that users won't be counted, right? Those users have to make a purchase on the next day or later, after the first day. On first day, even if you are purchasing 10 products, it doesn't matter. You are not qualified because the campaign only comes on the next day. So if you are buying anything after the first purchase day, it can be after 10 days, one day, 30 days, then it will, you should be qualified, right? Nor do we count users that over time purchase only the product they have purchased on the first day. Also, when the user is purchasing something after the first day, the product should be different. If he is buying the same product, then again, he is not qualified as a success of marketing campaign. Okay, let's understand with the three users. So let's see. So the first user, if we see, he bought something on the 2nd of January. And again, he bought something on the 31st. So this is the first in-app purchase. And after first in-app purchase, on the next day or after some days, he purchased another thing and the product is different. So this user qualifies for the marketing campaign success, right? Now user ID 14. This guy also purchased on 6th something. He purchased actually 2, right? He purchased 2 items on the 6th, 109-107. Now again, he bought on 31st some other product, which is other from these two, right? 112. So again, this is also qualifying. Now if you see user ID 25, he bought 2 products on 22, right? 114-115. Again, he bought these products on 24-27. So what he bought on 24-27 is again the same product, 114-115. So this guy doesn't qualify, okay? So in if we are looking at these three users, the user ID 11 and 14 should be there in the output, 25 should not be there, okay? Now you can take from the description box, the create and insert table statement. I'm going with my solution. I'm going to solve this step by step with multiple cities so that you understand easily, okay? Now, first of all, what I should do, I will just run this query with this users, right? So that it is easy to explain along the way. And later I will run the query on the full user base. Okay. So first of all, we have to identify which, which are the first day purchase and which are the purchase after first day. So the easiest way is using rank. So I will rank it on the create date, created at. So rank one will be the first day purchase and anything rank greater than will be uh, after the first app purchase. Okay. So let me do that. Uh, I will just take rank here. Rank over partition by 
partition by user id right for each user i need separate rank right order by created at ascending so by default it is ascending i don't have to specify but even if i specify it is fine as are so what will happen for each user the first created ad will get rank 1 and everything else will get rank 2 3 or more than 1 basically so let me run this and show you so if you see this guy got rank 1 and 2 right so this is the first day purchase to so rank 1 and then 2 now if you look at 14 he he purchased two products so he got rank 1 1 in both the cases right because when the value of order by column is same you get the same rank and that is what the advantage we are taking so that we know that these two purchases are of first day right i hope this is clear now what next the next is 25 if you see this guy got 1 1 right again two products on the first day and then 3 and 4 right now from here if i need the first day purchases i can just say rank equal to 1 and if i need later purchases i can say rank greater than 1 so let me do it so i will just create a ct from this one with rank data as this right and then i will say first app purchases as select star from rank data where r n equal to 1 so i will get only the first purchases right now what i will do i will create one more ct i will say accept first day purchases so i will say rank greater than 1 okay so in first type purchase and accept first type purchase right i hope this is clear it will have only the first day data for each user whatever user has purchased on the first purchase and it has everything else except the first day purchase now what i will do i will join these two so select so now what should be the left table and what should be the right table i'm going to do left join and why what table i should use as left table right i should use this table because ultimately i need all the users who have made purchase after the first type purchase right so obviously all those users will should be there here right if I use this table as a left table, right, then there is a problem. I will not, there might be users who made purchase on the second day, right, or who made purchase only on the first day, those will also come, right. So I will use this as a left table. So I will just select from this, right, left join, first step purchase, okay. So I will say, a and this b on so on what i need to join first of all on user id a dot user underscore id comma equal to b dot user underscore id okay so this is first thing second thing is we should also join on product right because we need to check if the products are same or different on the next day so i will say a dot product underscore id equal to b dot product underscore id okay so i'm going to do this and run this what all i need i will take the column so i will say a dot user id comma a dot product id comma a dot created at right again all these columns i will take from the table b also i'll just say b b and b okay so i'm taking all, all three columns on both the tables and let me run this and show you something okay so if you look at it here right we have all three users right and if you see for user id 11 right 11 we have a created at at 31st and 31st and product id is null you see why because these product ids are different from what was what was purchased on the first day right 
let me let me run the original query and show you i will just take this and i will run these two queries together so that it will be easy to understand okay so what we have done is here if you see this is my rank 2 data right for user id 11 we will look at the user id 11 first so this is my rank 2 data it is getting joined with rank 1 wala row and because product id is different right product id is different so we are it is not getting joined right so that's why we are getting null 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 right now for user id 14 for user id 14 if we see if we see again it is null 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 because the use the user id and product is different from what he purchased on the first day right the first day was rank 1 so he purchased these two product 109107 which did not join with 112 that's why it is coming null but if you see for this user 25 it is getting joined why because because he purchased the same product so the join on user id and product id is happening right so these two rows are coming in the except wala with clause and this is coming in the first purchase wala with clause and when we are joining these two data so this row is getting joined with this row and this row is getting joined with this row it means so it means it means if i say if i say this will it not solve the problem so after doing left join i will say pair p dot product id is null if i say that it means he has bought at least one product after the first time purchase which was not purchased during the first purchase right if at least one product is there then it is done again what we have done we have identified all the users who have done at least the second purchase right so if i put this filter except first step purchase wala ct if i take it means he has done at least more than one purchase right because rank is greater than 1 it means 2 3 or something will be there right so i will get all the customers who have done at least more than one purchase second is i am joining with the data which was there on the first step purchase on user id and product id right if there is any product if there is any product on the this ct which is not present in this ct then the product id will be null so if i put this filter i should get the answer so i will get two users i will not get the user 25 okay so i got two user id now in the output i don't need all of them i just need user id so i will just comment it and also i will remove the filter which we put initially okay this and i will run it with the whole data so the count should be this much of your answer so there should be 29 rows right so answer should be 29 i hope you understand the problem let me know if you have any questions happy to help okay thanks for watching have a good day